In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to delete the cookies and cache and other data for a specific website in Chrome, so that you can delete the cookies and everything else for just one website to hopefully fix any problem you were having without interfering with the cookies for any other website you visited. To do this, you'll need to open the Chrome Settings page by clicking on the three dots in the top right-hand corner and then bringing your mouse down to the very bottom here to find the Settings option and click Settings here. And now in the Settings, you'll need to click Privacy and Security in this left-hand menu here. And now in the Privacy and Security menu, scroll down to the very bottom option here Site Settings, and click that. And now, near the top of Site Settings, you'll see a few recently used websites. And then you'll see View Permissions and Data Stored Across Sites. And you'll need to click this. And now, you'll basically see a list of all the websites that have cookies or cache data or anything stored in Chrome. And you can delete any one you want. So you can scroll through this list to find a specific website you're looking for, and you can sort it by most visited, so websites you visit most frequently, or data stored, so how much data they have stored in Chrome, or by name, so just alphabetically, if you just know what you're looking for and you know what the name's gonna be. Or you can type something in the search if you want. You can start typing the name of a website if you just know exactly what you're looking for and you wanna go delete that. That's probably the easiest way to do it. But to me, we'll close that there to just go back to the list of all of them. But once you've found the website you want to delete the data for, you can see we have 21.2 kilobytes and 10 cookies of data. And we can click this drop down arrow here next to it and it will give you a breakdown of all the kind of different cookies and data and things that are connected with this one website. So we can delete the individual bits here, or we can just click this trash can next to the entire website here to delete all of that. So we can go ahead and click the trash can here to delete that. And it gives you this warning saying stuff will be deleted. So you'll be signed out of your account on this website if it's a website that you're signed into, and so make sure you know your passwords, but that's a given when you do this, and any offline data or anything like that will be deleted, and the cache will be deleted, so it might load very slightly, it might take very slightly longer to load next time you visit the website, but that's all fine, as long as you're happy with all that and you wanna delete the data for this website, you can go ahead and click delete, and now that will be deleted. So we no longer see it in this list here. And all the cookies and cache and permissions for that website have been deleted. So now, if you go to that website in the future, it basically won't recognize you. If it was a website you can log into, you won't be logged in. You'll have to log in again if you want to log back in. And if you had anything saved offline within that website or any sort of preferences or settings or anything in there, that will all be gone. It will just load completely freshly as though you've never been there before. This will not remove any of your data from the website. So anything you've uploaded to the website is still there and you still have an account and everything if you had an account, but it's just completely removing all the data from your computer that relates to this website. And at the top here, you could also click delete all data and that would just delete all the data for all of these websites without having you, to, you having to click it one by one. But doing something like that can be really quite annoying because then you're signed out of YouTube and Facebook and anything else that you're gonna sign into and every website won't recognize you and everything. It's not the end of the world. You can do it if you want or need to. It's just gonna be a bit annoying for the next few days. Every time you visit a website, you're gonna have to sign back in and do certain things, agree to pop-ups and things. So it's gonna be more convenient if you don't click delete all data and you can just delete one specific website like that, but you can delete all data if you need to. But hopefully this solved your problem and helped you do whatever you needed to do. And we might see you in another video in the future.